<laughs> Hello everyone. <laughs> Today we are in Hürmak with uh, Mr. Rangan. Uh, we are trying to explain to you how to use this machine easily. We will be introducing you our control unit from LG LS. This is a device that we outsource the hardware and design the software in-house. This is the welcome screen. Here you have two options. You either click on the flags to select the language or you click somewhere just to begin with. So for example, if you like to change the language, you select one of the flags, just click them and you can select the language that you like to use. Or if you have already selected the language, you can just touch anywhere to start with the software. And uh, first, uh, we want to see that password things, because if we need to change, we need to put the password. For any setting you want to change with the machine, first you need to enter the password, uh, which is, will be the operator password in this case. So when you start up, we have F9, which is the passwords page. So you can click here and set the password, which is for once, for the basic level operator. And here you need to enable the data input. Right now it's already enabled, normally you will see it like this, data input disabled. So you need to access here and enable the data input to be able to change any settings. If you like, I can explain the main page. Yeah, what we yeah, see yeah. Here, in this what page we things? explain after we, uh, every video, uh, it can be have, uh, have this. Please okay. explain. So this is the main page that we see when we start up the machine. Here we get various feedbacks from the machine. For example, here we can see the heaters. If you turn the heaters on, you can see the graphics changing, indicating that it's heating right now. This section is for the screw RPM for the machine, which is showing us the actual RPM during charging. Here we have closing speed and opening speed of the pump. And then we have the secondary pump, pressure and speed values. And here we have the main pump pressure and speed values. And uh, this section is showing us the positions of the machine, clamp position, ejector position, injection position, and clamping force. Right now it's null uh, because the, there is no clamping power on the machine. Uh, when is the alarm is showing here, right? No, alarm pops up on the screen. Oh. Here is the production overview. It tells you what the machine is doing in that moment. Yeah. So here we have two lines on Zen series. On basic machines we have only one line because uh, it, it depends on how many actions machine can do simultaneously in one stage. So right now on this machine we can do two actions at once. So we have two sections here. For example during clamp opening we have clamp opening message here and then uh, if we move the ejector or if we move the course, we see the secondary message below it. So both options, both uh, movements that is being carried out by the machine can be monitored here. Here we can see the oil level and the temperature. Here we can see the motor status and the motor temperatures. This machine is equipped with two servo motors, therefore you can see the temperature of both here. And at the top line, we can see the current status of the machine. It's on the manual mode. When we change it to something else, the heaters are off. When we change it into something else, you will see the switching here. Uh, you can see the actual cycle count here, last cycle time, mode number, and the name of the mode which was saved in the memory. Uh, you will follow us. Hello, everyone. Now with Mr. Uh, Angan, we have optional outputs, air and uh, if we have any motor, we can control from here, I think. Okay, this is the page where we adjust the settings of the air blow valves and uh, if you have an electric motor on the mode, uh, we have a power output that you can connect and you can uh, adjust it during the operation of the machine. So, first three are the air connections and the last one is the power connection for the 
any kind of motor that you like to use or electric, to cycle. To electric motor. Yeah, yeah. It's a power output that you can program yeah. with the cycle. So how we program? We have cycle time, waiting time and cycle position. So we can choose whichever we like to use. For example, we have time, position and they are inactive and deactive. Yes, automatically. For example, if I set it to time, uh, you need to select how long you like to wait within the certain cycle. For so when cycle starts, it will wait for five seconds, and then it will start uh, giving signal. You can also select the set position of the machine. You have clamp, injection, and charge. So, for example, if I select clamp, it will wait five seconds during the clamp movement, and then work. Or if I select injection, it's this is opening, right? I mean, I'm sorry, I, I cut <laughs> you. I, when is, a clamp is opening, we are fa waiting five seconds after. You can select it, either yeah. opening or closing. It can be adjusted. Yeah. If you select injection and select time, it will again wait five seconds and then start running. Or if you select charging, again it will wait five seconds and charging. Or you can select position. If you select the position, for example, if there is a specific position of charging, injection position or clamp position. And then at the set position, it will start running, giving signal to this area that you like to work. You can connect the valve gate system here, you can connect air blow, whatever you like. And same goes for the power output. Let's say you have an electric motor on the mold that you like to run at the certain position of the clamp opening. You can adjust here and then it will give the signal at the adjusted uh, stage of the cycle. Yeah, I want to be uh, a little... This is, in this is manually working them. If you like to do some testing or run them in manual, it can be done here. Thanks so much, Mr. Engan. If you like, we can move on to the core settings, which are related. Okay. This is our core page, so to access, you need to access the clamp page. Or there is also direct access here, F3. You can access the core pages. On all of the machine, we have one core installed on the machine, but uh, software has the, the preparation for all four cores. So you, you can add up to four cores on your machine. The software is prepared for it. How we run it, each core has its own page. So one, two, and four. If necessary, we can also increase it. This is what yeah. is standard. So if you select this, core is activated. So to activate the core, you select it. And then you select whether you like to run it by time or run it by switch. Which means at the set position, if we select time, it will run the core, pressure the core for two seconds, and then stop it. Yeah. If we select limit switch, you need to correct the connect the limit switches on the mold to the machine and the machine will run the core till it reaches to the limit switch. Yeah. If we have any switch, we can use this yes. options. If you have a switch on the machine. And uh, we have the mobile core option. Uh, as I said, we have two uh, motors and pumps on this machine. It means during clamp opening, you can run the course at the same time. So it saves you a lot of time in certain operations. So if you activate it here, uh, in the selected uh, position, the machine will run the core during clamp opening stage. And here we have a, uh, another option, which says core active or inactive during injection. Depending on the application, sometimes you like to apply, continue applying pressure on the core during injection, because sometimes injection pressure can push the core back which yeah. can create overshots on the, the product. Result also is the molding technology what you are using, actually. Yes. Uh, so if you activate it... If you need it activated, mm. not the, uh, locking the uh, core, you mm. need it, this. Exactly. You can either pressure the core or unpressure the core yeah. based on the application. And each settings could be checked here. Cores could be run manually here. Right now motor is not active. So if you press here, it will run the cores in manual mode. Thank you so much for watching to us. If you have any question, you can uh, write any comments. See you. <laughs>